workshop and they showed him all sorts of engines. At last he saw a smart little green engine with four wheels. That's the one, he thought. If I choose you, will you work hard? Oh, sir, yes, sir. That's a good engine. I'll call you Percy. Yes, sir, thank you, sir, said Percy. And the fat controller brought him back to the yard. Edward, he called. Here's Percy. Will you show him everything? As a lot of you guys already know, recently I started a project with my G-Skill Percy. In specific, giving my best attempt to make him model series accurate. And while the job itself isn't complete yet, I think I finally hit a point where he's at least ready to show off. He just unfortunately has a bit more to go. Specifically, I need to add his 6 and give his body a gloss coat. But those are the only major things that need to be done as of now. And honestly, either way, I just thought it'd be fun to talk about. So today I'll be telling you guys how I made Percy. And walking you guys through the process step by step on how everything has went so far. So right out of the box, the Bachman Large Scale Percy is a phenomenal model, definitely one of the best you can buy. So you don't really have to modify him to have an accurate Percy. But specifically, the Large Scale model is based more on the CGI Percy. And while honestly I don't really have anything against that Percy, it's not my preferred style. Like I said, I prefer the model series. And to get a model series look, certain things have to be done to the original body. Unfortunately, in some cases quite drastic things. The largest in my case was removing his boiler stripes, as here you can see they're actually molded and kinda stick out. While on the original model, the lining is done with car pinstripe taping, so it lays very flat. My first big step was removing those entirely, and I did so using a hobby knife and different types of sandpaper. Once I thought I had all of the stripes removed, I would prime that part of his body, but unfortunately some of the lining was still showing through. No matter what I did, it still seemed that there was a little bit there, but later on I would use this to my advantage. We'll get to that soon though. Another modification Percy needs to be Season 2 accurate is removing the extra detail on his saddle boxes. This part was probably the easiest. Using a nail file, I completely removed the detail on the side, and once that was done, reprimed and repainted it. Percy's entire body, footplate, cab, everything besides the wheels and chassis were sprayed with Tamiya Surface Primer Light Gray, and once I had everything primed, I sprayed Percy's entire body minus the footplate in a darker green Tamiya color, that being TS35, their part green. Using black acrylic paint, I went in for the other details, but at this point also moved to do his lining, and this part I wanted to keep authentic. So I would actually outsource some vehicle pinstripe taping, that being a bright red and a 2mm size. And using pictures of the actual Season 2 Percy model, and the still standing parts of the original lining, to guide where these all went. And thankfully now that these are applied, the original lining is basically invisible, so that was a huge relief. Sometime around now, I would accidentally lose Percy's original whistle. So the one he's using now is a Thomas one, and unfortunately it is way too big to be accurate. Don't worry though, with time I plan to replace such, and really I'm just happy that Percy has a whistle to begin with. It'd be kinda awkward to make it this far and not have such an essential part. But following this, I would paint his porthole windows yellow, this being with a yellow paint pen, his coal bunker black, his cab roof black, and just for fun, his entire cab a light tan. Now, I know this part specifically isn't necessarily accurate, but it was a detail that I wanted to add. I feel like it makes the area pop a little more, and figured it'd be fun to take some creative liberties somewhere. Getting back to the footplate, I would start with painting the entire thing besides the pistons and step ladders a bright red, but using the same primer I used on the body, once that had dried, masked off the sides of the footplate, and used that gray to spray the top of it. Originally, I wanted to do white, but the offish white in my opinion looks a little more accurate, and from there it was as simple as painting the pistons and step ladders the same green as his body. The same method I used with his boiler was done with his pistons, using what was still visible of the original lining to put on the new stuff, and for a while, that completed my Percy model. There was a big issue with him, however. His wheels still hadn't been painted, and for a while I would have to sport a two-tone Percy. Unfortunately, my local hobby shop just didn't have the green I needed, and I didn't trust myself trying to spray it, so I kinda just had to wait to find something that would work. Lo and behold, I went to the hobby shop one day and they had just that. Another Tamiya color, this time being X28, which albeit isn't the same green, but honestly looks almost exact. So I would jump at the opportunity, bought that, and that same night applied it to his wheels. And with that, the Percy model was, well, almost complete. Like I said, he's still waiting on a 6 and a gloss coat, but that's where we are with Percy now, and hopefully I can get him those bits and maybe some new couplers here soon. All of the faces you've seen on Percy are made by one tram band, 
and if any of you guys are interested in getting any G scale faces for yourself, I'll have his shop linked in the description. I highly recommend you check it out. Honestly, just buying a single one of his faces will take any G scale locomotive that much further. It's really all you need. I just have a bad habit of being an extra with my projects. But thankfully, at least in this case, I think it's paid off. And now I have a much more accurate G scale Percy model to not only bring with me to Edison, but to have in my collection. Oh, and also because I forgot, I did add a glaze in his windows. That being done with little bits of plastic I had laying around my room. And that completes our Percy model. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for even more train content. There's always more stuff on the way. And if you guys would like to see more of this guy, or frankly any more G-Scale projects, be sure to let me know down in the comments. I'm not gonna lie, this is really the only thing I've done in G-Scale specifically recently, but I do have some plans to hopefully do some more stuff soon. My focus has kind of been more in 009 and other stuff, but G-Scale has been a great way to clear my mind and do some different things. And hopefully you guys enjoyed figuring out exactly what that project has been recently. As always, thanks again for watching guys, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.